Hello and welcome back to the channel. Still having difficulty talking on camera, so just bear with me and I'm sure I'll grow in confidence. I wanted to talk to you about a change. I've had quite a few things going on over the last couple of weeks since I last made a video and this has involved quite a lot of change. Um, it was change I was expecting and although change can be viewed as a more sort of scary and negative, this, this change wasn't. It wasn't unexpected and it shouldn't be unpleasant. But I know it's not always the case with with change that occurs and it's taken me many years to get comfortable with the idea that change is inevitable. In many ways it's, it's one of the things that we can absolutely rely on, that nothing is set in stone, nothing is permanent. And I think if we can get to a point where we can accept that more readily, that is, uh, will be generally a more comfortable position for us. I once read uh, something that talked about the impermanence of life. We build our entire life on, on what they refer to as shifting sand. And this sort of resonated with me. I think we set our lives up in a way that we think everything will be permanent, that nothing will change. And yet, it's as obvious as the seasons that, you know, people evolve, life evolves, situations evolve. Change is quite literally around the corner. We never know from one day to the next what life has actually got on offer for us. And as I say, I don't think it should always be that we see it as a negative thing. I think some of us are actually actively waiting for change in areas of our life. We just don't know how to, to make the change. We need to be fluid and I think as soon as we can meet life on life's terms with this fluidity then we can actually be more, more comfortable. The seasons change and we're not afraid for the seasons to change. In fact if you're anything like me you're waiting for the season to change. It's not a very mindful thing to be doing waiting for the autumn to arrive during the summer. However, I know that it's coming and I can get through this period of perhaps discomfort because I know that something more comfortable is coming. Maybe if we thought about things a little bit more like that, that not everything that is coming is uncomfortable. And that, in fact, it might be more comfortable. I know that some of us have been through experiences where the changes which have occurred have been very uncomfortable and it's no good to be told that because change occurs that things will feel better in time. I mean when you're going through that kind of change you can keep that on the horizon. It doesn't really always make you feel better but if you can get into a state where you feel or understand or know or sort of embrace that there is other things on the horizon if you're having a troubled time then it can it can help going through periods of um, discomfort or grief in your life i think you can get into a space where you you do fear these kinds of changes coming again and we have to be sort of ready for those but we also remain we need to remember to live and I think it's a really important thing to, oh, I don't know, people say about being mindful and actually being mindful is quite complicated. It's actually quite a hard thing to do. And so when I say to people, you know, stop rushing, try and take it easy, try and just soak in every single day for what it has on its terms and don't rush it away. But the ultimate lesson or well, the ultimate thing to take from that is literally just slow down. Just concentrate on what you're doing in that particular moment. Enjoy that singular moment. That's really all I wanted to say on, on change, that everything moves, everything shifts. 
And if we can just concentrate on the, the moment that we're in, whether it's good or bad, and we can understand and know that this will pass, and, and even if it's a positive experience, it's going to change, and not necessarily change for the bad, but it may change in something more beautiful or change in a way that's completely unexpected. But what we can rely on in this impermanence is that change is coming. As you can see uh, in the video, I've been spending some time collecting soils and rocks from around my local environment. Um, this was something I decided to do when I was trying to connect with my sense of place. I've been here a long time and understand this environment really well, but I, I wanted to bring it into my artwork. I'm just experimenting really, and I'm not really sure where it's taking me or what journey we're going on. However, I'm just going to keep collecting and processing. So thank you for joining me and um, I hope that you will share your thoughts with me on change um, and I will see you in two weeks time. Uh, this is my aim at the moment. I think it's realistic for me to plan videos for two weekly stints. Uh, I think that's what I can manage at the moment. If that changes then I'll definitely post more regularly. Um, so I'm wishing you love wherever you are and whatever you're experiencing currently and you all take care of yourselves.